नमस्ते व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू आवर टेक्निकल चैनल गणेश पाइपिंग बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर आवर एक्सपीरियंस टिल डेट ऑन दिस चैनल एंड टू बी वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड आवर एक्सपीरियंस इज नॉट गुड बिकॉज वी ऑब्जर्व दैट देर आर वन थाउजेंड प्लस व्यूज फॉर अ वीडियो एंड इन रिटर्न टू दैट only one or two subscribe to the channel so the ratio of views to the subscriber is very less and it is the duty of the viewers that uh, they should subscribe to the channel when they are watching the videos because these videos are free of cost and there is no money for subscribing to the channel so uh, we request you once again to subscribe to our channel when you view these videos and you can share these videos with your colleagues uh, who are into the technical domain and uh, and insist them to subscribe to our channel too so uh, with this request i start the today's topic today's topic uh, we have seen in the last uh, few weeks we have seen we have uh, made videos on the piping components uh, which are the fittings flanges gasket etc etc so today we are going to see the weld neck flange so there are many types of flange uh we have seen there are temporary and semi permanent and permanent type of pipe joints permanent type of pipe joint will involve the welding uh, and uh, temporary joint means the joints which can be easily disassembled and that is the flange joint is the most uh, important of that so in flange joint uh, the weld neck flange which you can see on the screen is one of the type of flange which is used and this flange is specially designed for the high pressure and high temperature hazardous application so we will see in detail in the coming slides what this flange is about okay so this is well neck flange so this is a two flanges that will be assembled together and on the face of flange there is a uh, something called as face of flange so the face of flange is basically the two mating faces of the flange and when these uh, studs or the bolts when they are matched together then you can screw these nuts so that the weld joint uh, sorry the flange joint will get assembled and uh, these two mating flanges there are different types of face of flange and what are those face of flange types we will actually make a separate video uh, to discuss different uh, types of face of flange uh, but for this we have something called as ring type joint here ring type joint so this ring type joint there is a serration or a groove inside and this is a ring which is mostly metallic so if i want to magnify this groove it it is like this ring type joint oval groove and sometimes it is octagonal so uh, when this gasket fits inside the grooves this is flange 1 and flange 2 this is the flange 1 flange 2 and there is always a gap so when we start screwing this so this gets connected this gets compressed because the two flanges will come together when we screw them and uh, this will get expand and there will be a sealing action so this is how the uh, flange joint works so the applicable dimension standard for weld neck flanges is also asme b 16.5 and 
now we will see some of the face of whale neck flanges so whale neck flanges basically are suitable for high pressure and high temperature applications mostly from 900 pound rating onwards so we have something face of flanges fat flat face flange so whale neck flange we never come across we will never come across flat face whale neck flange okay so flat face whale neck flange means the normal uh, water pump flanges uh, they are the flat face where the gasket itself gasket which is used here so itself that gasket has a holes for the bolts to pass uh, this is very uncommon in process piping then the second one is the raised face flange so here you will have a raised face so the gasket od is directly equal to the od of this raised face and id of the raised face is equal to the id of the gasket so the gasket will be Uh, matching with this raised face height or the diameter. Uh, this is a lap joint flange. Uh, let's not discuss. This is a separate video we have made. You can discuss on this. You can see on uh, that. And this is the ring type uh, joint flange, which I have shown you in the previous slide. And this is a male female flange. So in male female flange, this is the projection, male projection, and there will be a female projection inside, and uh, in between these two, there will be a metallic gasket, and this is a tongue and groove. So this is a this is a groove, and this is a tongue, and in between the tongue and groove, there will be a gasket ring inserted in between the two. so for higher rating flanges it starts with the ring type joint male female and tongue and groove these three type of f o f face of flanges and for uh, lower rating say 300 pound rating 600 pound rating this is sufficient raise face flange and for 150 pound rating you can get raised face flange but it is uh, some cases the flat face is also used so now uh, we will see what is difference between the whale neck flange and the slip on flange slip on flange is also one type of flange joint which is used see whenever we go for Uh, higher rating like uh, 900 pound rating and above always we go for whale neck flange it doesn't means that uh, for 150 pound rating 300 pound rating we don't get whale neck flange of course they are available for those lower rating also but for higher rating it is explicitly it is Uh, preferred that uh, we have to go with the whale neck flange but for 150 uh, so for 900 pound rating or 1500 pound rating slip on flange is never used there we have only to go with the whale neck flange so why is it so that we will see whale neck flange as the geometry itself shows it is costly compared to the slip on flange of the same rating and same a uh, size because whale neck flange here there is a neck which is having an extra projection and because of this extra material it is costly and here you can get a pipe to pipe joint like this whale neck it is forming a pipe like uh, end and this is the actual pipe number 3 this is the actual pipe which is welded to the flange this is the pipe like end of the weld neck flange so this is the weld number 2 and number 1 is the flange itself so here you can go for 100% radiography so this x ray we can produce with excellent results and we can get good quality of radiography and so the joints can be easily 
inspected. But in case of uh, sleep on flange, we cannot go for radiography. Okay, because this weld, this uh, welding from here, and this pipe is actually inserted inside. So because the pipe is inserted, we cannot get the radiography report for this inside weld and outside weld also because everything will be uh, congested because of the pipe getting inserted into the flange. And here the slip on flange, this gap is equal to the thickness of this pipe. Suppose the thickness of the pipe is 6 mm. So you have to leave a 6 mm gap here and then the welding will be made from inside. Welding will be done from inside. So welding flange suitable from, of course it is available right from 1500 pound rating, but it is exclusively preferred from 900 pound rating and above. And slip on flange is used for uh, up to 1000, uh, sorry, up to 1500, 300, uh, 600 pound rating, 400 pound rating and uh, 800 pound rating also. That means the medium to low pressure applications. Sleep on flange can be used. So this is all about the weld neck flange. Uh, I hope that you have learned a bit of uh, important information from this video. So once again, before we close on this, I insist you to like, subscribe and comment on this video because it is very important for us to know your feedback so that we can update some information or some questions we can answer in a separate video which you have. So thanks for watching this video and once again, I request you to share this video. Thank you and have a good day.